Hey guys, G here. Afternoon. Today we're going to be looking at Talon Grips from Talon Grip uh, for the Mossberg MC2C. I chose to go with the granulated, whoop, the granulated <coughs> version. They got multiple. They got the regular, then they got the, uh, what is it, Pro Grip, which is kind of like a hybrid of granulated and rubber. So it would look like that. Um, and when you order it, it's like 20 bucks. It comes in an envelope with instructions inside on how to put on the talon grips. So, <clears throat> before we begin, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not a professional. I bought everything with my own cash. All right, let's do a quick safety check. All right, let's put this right here. Firearm empty. No round in the chamber. Okay. All right, cool. Comes, it also comes with alcohol pads, so before you begin, just wipe down your grip and then let it dry up. Also, I wanted to um, match with my uh, my talent grips, uh, little strips here over the uh, the placement pads, right? So, <clears throat> what you're gonna need is obviously the grips and the heat gun. All right, let's see. Let's get this out the way because I need more work. My work area here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so what what they recommend is that you start left to right. Okay, let's peel this out. Yeah. Well, let's just do the whole thing. Why not? rid of this. <clears throat> Toss it to the side. Okay. Actually looks nice. Start with the alignment. <clears throat> they want you to start line, lining with the magwell first and then uh, work your way around. And if you mess up it's not a big deal. You can just re readjust as needed so I think that would be about <clears throat> hmm. all right let's see here there if you have like any bubbles go ahead and just readjust as needed all right ah. Looks kind of nice. All right, let's work our way to the ribs. Hmm. Remember, always start from the bottom to the top. <clears throat> Adjust. All right. I am so sorry if I'm, I am not paying attention to the camera angle. So forgive me, but we'll get this done. Okay. Right there. And stuff start from the bottom. Hmm. Oh look, it's got a little T in it. I can't really see it, but <clears throat> don't worry about the back end. You can just heat uh, once you go over it with the heat gun from the sides, and then you can work your way with the work work it with the heat gun. I wonder. It's not gonna be the prettiest thing in the world, but you know, we have options. Okay. Now, what they recommend is with the access, tuck it in, tuck it into the the left side of the grips. <clears throat> Such a no, just tuck it in. Okay. Again, I am sorry if you're missing a majority of this. Okay. Now, let's uh, go ahead and take the heat gun. I got a Wagner 300 for Walmart. Uh, you can start on the low settings. It's got two settings, low and high, that's it. So, 
I should grab a belt. I mean, <clears throat> a glove. I'll start on the left side so it can lock in, and then might work my way around the grip. That's a little warm. Let's hit. Let's hit it again. <clears throat> so yeah, let's go high. I'm gonna be here all day with this. Oh yeah, that's better. That's way better. Now I can feel it. I can feel it <clears throat> molding to the gun in the shape of the gun. I like this. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Now it's becoming flush. I can feel it coming in flush. All right. Let's do the back. Let's see if I uh, probably align it a little bit better. All right. Okay. Let's hit it up. <clears throat> Change my hand because I'm gonna burn my hand if I don't adjust. Oh, that's pretty hot. There goes my sticker. Woo, that's hot. Oh, I'm burning myself. Oh, <clears throat> I am a glutton for punishment. All right, so uh, go ahead and. Uh, Man, it does form pretty good to the firearm. Uh, rather the grip. All right. Okay. Now let's do the right side. All right. Got to get away from, put my hand away from this. Okay, that's good. That's good. I like it. Almost done. Doesn't take too much. Doesn't take a long time to do. So, this is what it look like so far. All right. Let's uh, do the final part. <clears throat> Which is the front, the front of the grip. Oh, that's uh, is steaming. Okay. You know, mold it. Try to get into, um, get these in deep into the finger grooves. Oh man, I can't wait to take this out and try it. You know, some sometimes you may not have the money or don't have the desire to send your grip to get. Stippled or laser stippled, and this is a very nice and expensive option. Twenty bucks can't go wrong with this. It max. It looks nice. Is I thought it was going to look a bit tacky, but I no, I actually like it. So now it matches with my my uh, Town Grips uh, DIY strips right here. And now I can hold on to this when I go back to the range a lot better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still have to the touch. Oh, let's do this real quick. <clears throat> Some people may not like this of a aggressive uh, texture. Like I said, I, I in my my opinion, the narrower the gun, the more abrasive abrasion uh, grip you'll need. 
you know, the grip, the, the grip on my Glock, you know, it's wider, it's, I can hold up, hold on to that a lot better than this, but this, oh, sticks to my hands really nice, oh yeah, it's not going nowhere, so, oh yeah, nice, well, <clears throat> that's all I have for you today, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, I hope this helps somebody, uh, you guys stay safe out there and carry on.